My name is Yana, and you're watching Finnish Knitting Stories, episode number 74, I think. <laughs> I think, I guess. Welcome or welcome back. I'm back into my regular spot in my knitting corner in the craft room, and I'm coming to you from Finland. <laughs> what else? Some admin stuff. You can find me on Instagram as Kittunits and on Ravelry as Kittunits. I also have a coffee account and Patreon if you'd like to support this channel. And there you can find me as Finnish Knitting Stories. And all the important information is in the, in the description box down below. Let's begin. Let's talk about knitting and some other things as well, probably. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Big question. Do I have finished objects this week? I do. It's a teeny, teeny tiny one, but I do have one. <laughs> Franny's wearing it. It's Franny's festival dress. Last weekend I attended Yuvaskula Knit Fest. I was there for four days. I was selling my yarn on fr Friday and Saturday. And I know a lot of you visited there, at least the Finnish viewers and some foreign viewers as well. It was very nice to see you and meet you there. And Franny was happy to see you. Franny had a teeny tiny <laughs> surprise gift for everybody who knew a special special password <laughs> you needed to. Yes, I made adult people to go and ask talk to a frog, ask if she has a surprise for you. That's what we do here. <laughs> Adulting? No, never heard. <laughs> it's overrated, isn't it? Yeah. You're never too old to have fun and talk to a frog. Okay, Fran is wearing our first finished object, which is her festival dress. This was my festival color and I had a teeny tiny leftover of that from a shawl that a friend of mine knit for me. She's, she's my savior. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Franny has matching shoes, matching Mary Janes and bloomers. The dress came out a bit short. I was hurrying. I was knitting it at night at a, ho at a hotel. At night, yeah, in my hotel room. So it doesn't matter. It's mini. She has legs for it, yeah. <laughs> she has legs. She can wear mini. Uh, she's very cute, isn't she? Uh, Franny's pattern is Frog by Claire Garland, just in case you're wondering. Sophia also has been asking for her own frog. She wants one, and that's probably gonna be her traditional birthday toy. I every year I knit or crochet a new toy for Sophia. Last year it was mouse. This year I think it's gonna be a frog. And Sophia wants green one. I thought she would want pink, but she wants green one. Yes. And a lot of people are asking about shoes, about Franny's shoes. Those are like Barbie shoes. You can Google vintage Barbie Cindy shoes or not vintage actually you can get these in all colors of rainbow and I have a few more pairs but I got mine from Etsy more than 10 years ago they also fit Bly's dolls and some other dolls as well and they fit uh, <laughs> knit frog perfectly <laughs> so yes Franny was a festival superstar people came to make selfies with her <laughs> it was it was fun it was fun. Okay, but yeah, that's my teeny tiny finished object this week. Yeah, do I have any more? I don't have any more. I haven't had much time for knitting, but I have had time to cast on things. And we have a few new cast-ons. Guilty. <laughs> we don't judge here. We don't judge here. Yes. So uh, I have a few. A couple of weeks ago, I was so ready for autumn knits that, yes, let's knit some cardigans and hats and maybe mittens. And now I'm back to summer top knitting. I have three new summer tops on my needles. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Something is in the air. Summer top knitting is in the air. Okay, let's begin with the first one, which lives in my beautiful birdie and puppet bag. We had, a, we had a birdie and puppet fan club meet at the festival. It was so much fun. I saw a few of these, not, not these exact, but other birdie and puppet bags. A few lovely ones that I have missed. Other people had them. <laughs> I had one, my husband had one, some other people had some. And the other people were planning to buy. <laughs> buy some bags. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's with the neon yellow, but that's what's happening right now. I have a clear theme going. I'm moving away from my pinks and into neon yellows and a bit of violets. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. It's a stripy summer top 
mohair, merino. It looks a bit odd in a screen. No pattern, by the way, because I looked at the ready available patterns and none of them were actually... None of them were exactly the way I wanted it. Uh, there is a new pattern by a Finnish designer. Everybody's knitting that. But I looked at it and it has a neckline that I know it will be bothering me. It's very high and straight and I know I, I can't wear that. Then there was another... Was it a... Uh, ro rocket tee? No. Was it a rocket tee? Which has a v-neck. And then I thought, am I going to wear a v-neck? Probably not. So... I just cast on 120 stitches and did a basic raglan, divided it in six parts, two for front, two for back, one for sleeves, and basic raglan we have, and it seems to be working out pretty great. I just need to decide on the length. Yeah, my question is now, how long do I want it to be? And I don't know. Am I going to wear it over a dress? Am I going to wear it with a high-waisted skirt? Definitely not with pants. I'm not a pant gal. I've been living in dresses all year round <laughs> for for a few years, but I don't know. I'm undecided. But this was my festival knit because I needed something very simple, mindless, just in the round that I can chat the people at the same time and not mess up my knitting. Yes. So that's one. It's kind of almost finished. I think a few stripes more and then the ribbing and then it's done. Well, let's put it here. It makes a nice background. It's so pretty. Uh, let's pick another one. <laughs> let's pick another one from the pile. And again, Murdy and Puppet bag. This one is a drawstring. I love it. It has beautiful satin ribbon and foxes. And it matches everything in my life. <laughs> uh, what's inside? You're not gonna believe. Neon yellow is inside. <laughs> What's happening? I don't know. Uh, I have talked about this pattern many, many, many times. Many of you probably recognize it. It's Look at My Holes by James Watts. Uh, he recently reworked it and uh, there is a new version of it. I downloaded the new file. I bought the pattern, I think, already last year <laughs> and I have had a yarn since last year. Uh, I'm knitting mine in a sports weight merino, in a soft neon yellow, of course. And yeah, the new version has added short rows. And I think I was not knitting it because I could not figure out how do I add short rows in this holy lacy pattern. And I knew I need short rows for me to be happy with the fit. And now this one does. And now I'm very happy with it. I already knit the sleeves. Now it's knit according to pattern. It's just missing the ribbing. And I need to decide where are we going to stop? How long? Because I think it's going to stretch probably when I block it. I've been thinking, should I put it on a silicone cable, on a silicone, yeah, that cord and block it and then try it on? I don't know. Uh, I did size up because I'm, I'm knitting one needle smaller, one needle size smaller. I don't remember what size. I don't have needles here with me. <laughs> they are now in the living room. I have a closed cord here. Uh, I think I'm knitting with four. Uh, five and a half or five whichever one size smaller than the pattern calls because I'm a bit of a loose knitter I was afraid these would be these hol holes would be too holy <laughs> too loose um, but yeah it's fun there were a lot of these at the festival I actually started before festival with the hope that I would finish it but I didn't I just managed to separate for the sleeves and then I had to leave and I did not take it with me because I don't think I could knit and talk at the same time. So this one stayed at home, but maybe for next year, maybe. Is this complicated? No, it's not, but you need to pay attention. I did make a couple of mistakes and then ripping back was, <laughs> was not my favorite part. But generally, if you focus... Don't knit it when tired. That's my advice. Don't knit it when tired. Don't knit it when talking to someone. Uh, take your time, focus on it, and it's gonna go well, because the lace is not complicated. There is nothing complex about it. It's a lovely pattern, lovely knit. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I saw, yeah, a lot of them at the festival. Uh, hi, Emma. Emma has from... Um, 
Puikot Vihu Finnish podcast, mother and daughter. And my Maria Emma has one in in this same color, but in a bit thinner yarn. And uh, Maria has one in pink. And I will have one in neon yellow. I think it would look great over a pink top. What do you think? I think I need a pink top underneath. Yeah, I'm planning to wear something underneath. Either a dress or a top or something. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's looking good. That's kind of almost finished. Again, once I decide on the length. Okay, we're putting that away. I have one more. <laughs> I have one more and it's also a summer top and it's this in this beautiful bag that was a gift from a viewer I don't know does the camera pick it up there's beautiful natural botanical print with some leaves I love it it's so small it fits in a in my handbag because I've been carrying this now with me I started this top yesterday in the morning should I give you a pre-story or do you want to see it first? Yeah, it's black. What's happening? I don't know. Who am I? I don't know. <laughs> what if I told you it's black cotton? I'm knitting with black cotton. Look at my face. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with knitting black or knitting cotton. It's just so not my thing. So not my thing. But... Um, I'll tell you a story why I'm knitting it. Yeah, those, that's just provisional cost on that neon yellow. It's, it's gonna go. <laughs> um, I'm knitting on the back piece in a black cotton. Actually, this yarn is all right. I usually don't like knitting with cotton, but this is Kremke uh, Reborn Denim, color number 152. It's actually like very dark gray, probably more than black. And now I'll tell you why I'm knitting it. Uh, I have a very beautiful, colorful skirt with flowers on it. And it's summer now. Might not look like that, but it's summer here in Finland. And I want to wear my skirt. And I have not found a top that would go with it. I have tried every single thing I own with it and it just doesn't work because I think it needs to be very dark color probably black or dark gray to work with that skirt and I don't have that in my wardrobe I don't have in, that in my knit wardrobe I don't have any dark colored tops I have one top that I wear underneath underneath sweaters but it's so tight and so open that I'm not comfortable wearing it with that skirt so I'm knitting myself very quickly knitting myself a new black summer top this is a simple pattern but very pretty it's Leo Dohti by Ronja Hakalehto Finnish designer by the way Ronja was somewhere at the festival and I I don't think I saw her I saw her in the pictures but not in real life <laughs> we did not we did not meet um yeah, I have had it on my list for quite a while. It's very simple top with a little sleeve and a few buttons here in front. And I think it's going to work with my with my skirt. That's why I'm knitting it now. This is just stocking it. This is just stocking it. And luckily it's a bit thicker yarn. It's 155 meters and 50 grams. This is what I have left from my first ball and I have five balls and I hope that that's enough. <laughs> uh, but we will see. I'm planning to knit on it actively because I want to wear my skirt. Yeah. And nothing else works with it. I did find a beautiful linen top in the store. But it was so much money that I was thinking, no way. No way I'm spending 70 euros on a very simple black linen top. No, it's not worth it. Like, I can get so much yarn for 70 euros, especially if it's linen or cotton. I get like a kilo, prob probably more. Probably more than a kilo of yarn for that money. Well, yeah. <laughs> Why to buy it if you can make it, right? <laughs> Sometimes it costs more to make it than to buy it, but oh well, makers. Makers gonna make, right? <laughs> um, yes, I have one more. I have one more whip, which is my scrappy whip, my big scrappy whip. I just brought it here. I wanted to share it with you. It's my blankie. 
I've made some progress. That's why I brought it here. There. There is my progress keeper. This much I have added. And this thing is getting huge. Ooh. Wait. I'll remove the hook not to lose it. It's getting huge. Does it still fit in the screen? Uh, barely. No, it doesn't. Look at this thing. It's ginormous granny square. And I've been putting all the thing... Ooh, fingering weight scraps, whole double, see, two strands coming, or DK weight scraps, single. And I'm crocheting it with a four and a half millimeter, uh, this is a clover, clover hook. Uh, then uh, people have been asking me, do I change the direction in this granny square? And I don't, because I think my DK weight one is quite balanced. I don't feel like it's crooked. I don't feel the need of changing the direction. In a fingering weight, I probably would every row or maybe every two, not row, round. I would probably change knitting direction to make it more balanced. But this one is actually quite even. I don't feel that it's wonky, so... I am not. <laughs> I'm just crocheting away on that and this thing weights a ton. And now it's caught on the leg of a stool that I have in front of me. <laughs> okay, I freed it. I'll put it down there. Okay, are you going to ask what I'm wearing today? If you're a returning viewer, you probably have seen my summer lento. My summer lento. For a while it was a sample in my store and now I've been wearing the life out of this thing. <laughs> because the weather, it's quite windy, it's still warm but quite windy, so it's it's perfect. This is 70% silk, it's a boucle yarn and I love it. It's lento by Jonna Hietala of Line Magazine and the pattern can be found in uh, Line Magazine. I want to say number 11, I might be wrong about that, but you can also find it as an individual down load on Ravelry. If you have not yet knit a lento, <laughs> I suggest, I strongly recommend because I have knit, I think five of them, maybe five of them. I don't know. I've lost count of my lento sweaters, <laughs> but I, I love it. Mine is very loose. Mine is a size bigger than my other lento sweaters because it's summer one. I wanted, I wanted it to be very, very loose and drapey, and I'm just wearing it over a, over a linen dress. And it's not too hot, not at all, because we're having, to me, perfect summer at the moment. It's over 20 degrees, but less than 30. So somewhere around 25, it's like, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm loving this kind of summer. Not too hot, not too cold, just perfect. Uh, not complaining about the weather at all. <laughs> it's been raining and the garden is not doing that great, but... Oh, well. <laughs> um, you... Yeah. And I have new earrings. Did you spot my new fabulous sheep earrings? They are by, I think, my favorite jewelry, knitter's jewelry maker, Birio Design, Birio. I have a lot of earrings from her. She every year figures something new out for the festival. Luckily, these are plywood and not very expensive, so I can buy a new pair every year. <laughs> I can limit myself when it comes to yarn, but not when it comes to nice earrings. I'm... I love earrings. <laughs> yeah. These these are lovely. These are the big sheep. These are the big sheep. And they came in different shapes and, and different sizes. There were, I think, three different sizes and then different attachments. And then there are these two-piece sheeps and then there were with one piece. Like, and, and there's a black version. I'll show you later. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can't help myself. Can't help myself love love earrings. And I think a knitter should have a sheep earrings. Right? Right. <laughs> we don't judge here. Uh, I didn't get that much yarn this year, so there you go. <laughs> I got earrings. Um what else? What else? I'm I'm all over the place again. I'm very excited to be here because it feels like forever. I know it's been like a bit over a week since we last time talked, but somehow it feels forever because so many things have happened in my life in this last week. I've been to places. I've seen people. <laughs> very exciting for an introvert who usually sits in her room and talks to people on the on the internet. <laughs> I saw real I saw real people face to face. Some of you, all of you, some of you who are watching this, 
<laughs> my, my my chatty nonsense. Okay, no, no, they're very serious here. We're very serious here, and let's talk about future knitting plans. I have some. I'll show you now one because my mama is coming to visit us again. Yay! Oh, <laughs> I might get a proper break. I'm planning to have a. I'm planning to take a bit time off work next week. I'm on holiday next week, but we're not going anywhere. We're just staying home, doing some yard work, carrying some gravel, some other very exciting things. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so, my mama wants a Vaca cardigan by Anna Johanna. I have needed one of those for myself, and she wants one in beige. I'm not very excited about knitting it at the moment. Don't get me wrong. I love my beige. I love my neutrals, but I also love my neons, and it's summer now, but... I'm gonna knit a beige vodka cardigan for my mom. Uh, this is my color called Kappa, which is uh, inspired by Latvian Baltic dunes, because that's the color. That's the cool sand color. Yes, at the Baltic Sea. <laughs> so that's my future knitting plan. And then I have one more, which is very much related to my acquisitions. Uh, there was a new Tidin update, the Swedish Unspun, the Patreon update, only for patrons of new Tidin. Um, and then I saw C Carolyn uh, knit a big oversized cocoon cardigan in this color. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's almost black. No, it's not. It's not black. It's like uh, natural sheep black, which is almost brown mixed with a beautiful purple. I'm not sure this camera pick up on it, but it's not like black black. And I want exactly the same cardigan. I fell in love with it. I I need one this autumn winter. I I need one. Very unusual choice for me, but I just wanted one in this color. It's a cardigan. I can wear something bright underneath. Right, right. I have a lot of beautiful dresses that will work with with this. So, I had a budget for a festival and part of it went into... You didn't purchase already before, before the festival. <laughs> but that's all right. That's all right because... Oh, one more thing. Let's do the giveaway now before we slide into purchases, my, festi my festival purchases and need and chat. Yeah, let's do the giveaway winner from two episodes ago. <laughs> from two episodes back, my midsummer slash podiversary giveaway. Uh, we have addition to the prize to these minis, my soft neon mini set. We got addition. Uh, my friend, Birgit, uh, she sent me a message and asked if I would like some project bags for the giveaways, for my upcoming giveaways, and I said, sure, yes, of course. <laughs> and then she sent me some, like yesterday, and I received them today, I picked them up today from on my way from work. Here's one, it's beautiful, it's a fox bag, it's the same fabric. I have bags in this fabric, I have a few too. <laughs> and she kindly sent me actually a whole box of bags. So we have more exciting giveaways coming up. I also bought some things in US Kula for our next giveaway. So uh, yes, look, it's a perfect sock size. So now upgraded price for the midsummer, for the midsummer giveaway. And I, I grabbed my pad here. We will do it right now. I already opened the random number generator and set it up. We will now just press the button. Not random number, random comment generator. And the code word was Midsummer. So we have uh, 603 comments with the word Midsummer. And I'm now going to press. And the winner is Petra. Uh, there, I don't know, does it, can you see anything, is it blowing out? I will put a screen, screenshot of this. Wait, how do I do that? There, I, I got it. I was struggling with this. 
Okay, Petra says, thank you, Yana, for a new lovely episode. You made my Sunday morning lovely, and even though Midsummer is away, I hope to see you in Yuvaskula after a couple of days. I'm happy to go with my family for the first time, so cannot wait. Uh, Petra looks familiar. And... According to the surname, I would say Petra is from Czech Republic, and there was a lovely little... Ah! <laughs> Give me a sec. I need to put this away. <laughs> um, I got gifts at Yuvaskula Neat Fest. There was a card. I just need to double check one thing. It can't be. Ah, Petra, are you the same Petra who brought me these lovely things and yarn? That can't be. That's a crazy coincidence. If you're the winner of my giveaway. Uh, okay. <laughs> I got gifts. I got a beautiful, beautiful project bag and yarn that um, Petra hand dyed with walnut shells. And this is a single ply, very soft merino cashmere. It's lovely. And there was a card and this is Petra on it. So congratulations. Are you it can't be the same person, can it? But looks very similar to the person who visited my booth at <laughs> Yuvaskula. That's, that's crazy. Knitting world is very small, it looks like. Yeah, if that's the same Petra, <laughs> uh, let me know. Are you the same Petra? Then she, she already has some get to yarns and she shopped at my booth and she bought for herself and for her friend who is another viewer of this podcast and she has mm, also one already was my giveaway. That's that's insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Please get in touch with me uh, on... Send me a, an email or an Instagram. Better an email. Yeah, then I don't miss it. Or Instagram message somewhere. Please get in touch with me with your mailing address and I will get your prize to you, which is this. Except I don't remember, if you bought this at the festival, we can switch it for something else. I know Petra bought some neons and then some other lovely things. And then some spinning fiber as well. Can't be the same person. Can it be the same person? That's insane. Okay, anyway, <laughs> congratulations and please get in touch with me. Uh, <laughs> and thank you for the gift, if it was you. Sophia is after this bag because she really loves the girl on this bag. She thinks she looks... This girl looks like Sophia. Yeah, and I think I will have to give it up. That's that's the maker. Can you see? There is the label Maple Maho. I don't know. I don't want to butcher it. It's a lovely bag. <laughs> I have a feeling I will have to part with it because our little one is really after this bag. She saw it immediately. It's pink on the other side. It was like... <gasps> Is that for me? No, I think it, it will have to be. <laughs> Can I share some other gifts I, I got from a knit festival? A lovely viewer, Siri, came and wrote me a sweet card and a chocolate that I would last through the day. It was so sweet and touching. And then I had a stitch markers somewhere. The stitch markers that Marika from Marily Design gifted me. Then I bought some for my friend from her as well. They are now shining. I think I should put them on a project. They are beautiful. They are with stones. Those were gifts. Those were all gifts. Oh, and then one more. Another viewer brought me her scrap yarns. And I just brought one bag. But I have a big bag full of these little bags. And they are lovely. She said she doesn't enjoy scrap yarns. But she knows that I do. So she brought me her scrap yarns and I appreciate that very much. That that made me very happy. And I saw some thicker ones there, which is great because I can carry on working on this blanket. They will go into this one. So yes, scrap yarn makes me happy. <laughs> I know I'm weird, but what to do? Um, yeah, so lovely gifts from Knitfest. And then there was... Uh, I got cards, I got attention, I got sweets. Uh, there was a little boy that recorded the... He wasn't there, his mom was there, but there, she recorded the video of him. A little fan. <laughs> uh, 
of him saying that my yarn is the best and his mom was there to buy um, mini skeins for a very colorful cardigan and it made me so happy couple of tears were shed <laughs> More than a couple, I reaped like a baby. <laughs> you can't do that to me in the middle of the work day. I was crying there and trying to dry my face, but it was a very touching moment. And <laughs> I don't know, it's just we have a wonderful community. What else is there to say? Because knitters are, I think, one of the best hobby related communities out there. Not just knitters, yarny people, fiber people, crocheters, spinners. All of the fiber people are, are the best, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Not gonna cry now. <laughs> I've done that enough on the weekend. <laughs> yes, and thank you everyone who stopped at my booth and talked to me and talked to Franny and <laughs> took pictures with Franny or me. More with Franny though. <laughs> she was the real superstar of, of that event. And just thank you for being you and for caring and for talking to me. <laughs> Not always easy to talk to real people <laughs> right right um but i'm very very inspired and touched and grateful for each and every one of you who has come to my life through the knitting through the common craft and hobby okay would you like to see my purchases from the festival i don't have everything here with me because some have been already gifted this morning to my friend. I bought some things as a thank you. She knit a few sample pieces for my stall and I I did not have time and she, she saved my butt. <laughs> she knit a few samples for me and I brought her yarn and some other goodies. But I will show you what I have here. Uh, I didn't have much time to shop, but I managed still some. I bought some yarn, not excessive amounts. One of my purchases was... Oh, this is beautiful. Ooh, this, this is beautiful. Um, Vona. My husband is calling. Where was I? My husband just called because they are at the store and they forgot the shopping list in a car. So instead of going to the car and picking it up, he decided to call me. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah, I also wanted to talk about spinning. One more thing. I've been spinning. I've been spinning this fiber that I got a few oh, weeks ago from Rova Silmo Solmo. I had two of these. One is now on the wheel. Uh, and 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 one is on the wheel and i've been thinking that it will probably i'm spinning it as singles and i want to knit either love note or love note or um what's the other one R ranunculus with it and then i have these that i bought they are yellow villa yellow villa Vuana. and this is festa riqueza which means festival summer i have five of them but they are 50 grammars so not that much yarn uh, i was thinking a shawl or maybe a sweater so i was yeah what i'm thinking one of these will become love note and another would become ranunculus but i don't know which which would be which i don't know but i can decide later not that important yes these are lovely this is a single ply finish sheep wool but the color the color is Magnificent. I just... Something with the yellow. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Yes. And then I shopped at TD2. And this will be for our future giveaway. When I reach 15,000 subscribers, we will have another beautiful, lovely giveaway. And this one, this will be a prize. It's a Tuku Wool DK. And then knitting for olive silk mohair. And I think these would make a lovely hat or a cowl. See, my shades, my shades. So that one we will put in a safe place <laughs> for the future use. Yes. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? I shopped from Rova Silmo Solmo, one of her old colors, Van Hapika. I have had this color before and I love it very, very much. I used my skein into garter in the Garter Marler by Stephen West. 
so you can't really see it as just by itself how beautiful that color is so i bought two more skeins that i can knit something else whatever i want maybe another lento or shawl i don't know yet but see i've been good i bought two skeins no more single skeins <laughs> um, that one this is lovely uh then i had um, sorry for the rumbling i lost the mini I bought a cute yellow mini skein from Hando, another Finnish yarn dyer, just to go into my blanket. Again, the color. The color was perfect. So, so pretty. And then, oh, this year there was Garthenor. And I love their sock yarn. I love their Snowdonia sock. I picked up three. They were near. They were near my booth, so it was easy to run there and quickly shop. I wanted also to get a shawl quantity, but I, I didn't plan, <laughs> so I did not know what to get. So I just ended up with three skeins of sock yarn. These are fifty grammers, so probably I can get two pairs out of it. It's a Romney, and I can never get this out right. Hebridean. Hebridean. Heb <laughs> that one. Uh, it does not come there on the front bigger. It never comes out, right? And they are mixed in different proportions in all these three colors. And they are just, they are lovely woolly sock yarns. If you knit them on small needles, they, I think they last, they last well. And I think my plan is just to stripe them, but that's, that's, we will leave it for winter. For winter, when I'm in a sock knitting mood, I haven't been in a sock knitting mood lately, but these are beautiful. British wool, yes. <laughs> Finnish wool is also great. You, you can see from my shopping, it's mostly British wool and Finnish wool. And, okay, those are all my yarn purchases. No more yarn, but I have two more things. Two more things, uh, and they are they are jewels. I'm just digging for them here in my giant sack. Jewels, <laughs> jewels. Okay, you've seen big sheep. Now it's time for the little black sheep. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that anymore. But yes. I just had to, because in autumn and winter, I prefer smaller earrings. You can see, these are huge, and these are teeny tiny baby ones. Now they are still sizable. And there is Pinio design. Oh, that's shiny. Does it focus? I hope you can see. Beautiful. So, more earrings. <laughs> I'm a bulk buyer. I'm a bulk buyer, yes. And then one more thing. And then I have something else, and it's also knitter. It's knitter's jewelry. Um, <laughs> it's by Sanni Lehtinen, who makes this knitting ring. I know a lot of you have bought it. She has an Etsy store, and now her booth was right next to mine. So we we shopped from each other. She bought some yarn, and I bought I bought myself a early birthday present. It's silver. And it's a little, how do I show it? It's a little knitter's necklace. Look, there is a pink blingy in the middle. And it's a yarn ball with, with needles. And it's a necklace. I don't usually go for necklaces, but this one was just so lovely. And, oh, that goes with this sweater. Why am I not wearing it today? Why am I not wearing it today? It's so pretty. It's silver. It's handmade. And and now I can't close it. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't even close it in front of me. Ugh. Yeah, it's so, so, so precious. I don't know. I saw it. I wanted it. I, I had a good day, so I, I got it. <sighs> we need to support each other, right? Yes, and there is the lady, and there is the 
<laughs> Lanka Pika logo, which is that knitting ring with the four slots for stranded knitting. I have that one as well. Uh, yes. Those are all my purchases. I told you they are very, they are very... <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm still... I'm still in a yarn cloud from 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 the weekend. I I can't <laughs> I can't get back to normal. It was it was very exciting and overwhelming and so much fun. Uh, I I wish it would I could go more often to events like that because I'm just sitting here in my corner knitting uh, alone or with you. I'm actually not alone. I'm with you, but I'm in here here in this place. I'm alone and still have my festival nails. I'm jumping. I know. I'm jumping from topic to topic because... Uh, <laughs> yes, I need a vacation. I definitely need a vacation and I'm taking next week off. At least I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I haven't planned anything. I haven't promised anything to anyone. Of course, if somebody calls and they are visiting our town on summer holiday, I will go and open the shop for them. But that that's all right. But... <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just planning to be at home and my mom is coming next week and we will probably just spend some time together and do something fun with the kids because school is starting already next month yeah, it starts in August in Finland mid-August, actually early August I think this year I didn't check which, which day this year it varies but yeah so I'm planning to knit carry some gravel. <laughs> we have a little DIY project there in the yard. I already cleaned my garden. It was very neglected after we... I haven't been there for a week, basically, and it's been raining, so weeds were taller than my vegetables. We're having a very bad vegetable year, very bad garden year, generally. We don't have much of strawberries. I'm very upset. Usually we have a lot of strawberries, but not much this year because... First, they were not getting ready, and now they are rotting there because it's been a lot of rain. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, but not a successful gardening year, but that's that's all right, I guess. What else? A lot of things. Yeah, festival was a lot of fun, and thank you everyone who came and talked to me, and if you bought something for me, thank you so much. And I really, really enjoyed it. I tried to go every evening after, after a shower and a snack. I tried to go back every evening to knit with people, to be with people, not not just lounge in a, in a hotel on a bed. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. I can't wait for next year already because it's it's always so much inspiration and oh I was wearing my mohair dress for two two evenings I was wearing my mohair dress and I got so many compliments on it and people wanted to see it and touch it and talk about it and my dress my my cloud ball dress was a big hit I can't wait to see more of those coming I hope if you are knitting one tag me I wanna I wanna see it <laughs> I wanna see your cloud ball dresses I think I would like a a top version as well but I think my dress for me was very wearable because I'm used to dresses it's it's my thing I live in dresses I live in dresses all year round I rarely wear pants anymore I don't think I own a decent pair of pants anymore there are some ripped jeans somewhere but I'm not sure do they do they fit <laughs> uh, yeah so I don't know anything else just very excited, very excited about everything. That festival gives a giant boost to me every year. You know I'm an introvert. I bet you can't tell because I'm talking to you. But it's easy when it's just... <laughs> when I'm not physically around people. Uh, yeah. Socializing, it all, it's, it's always a bit hard for me. But I try. But it's still... It, it gives inspiration, but it takes a lot of energy from me. I need time to recover after after real true socializing. <laughs> I need a, I need a break. I have mohair in my mouth, which is weird. I don't think I had a mohair around here. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna go now. My 
<laughs> my, my, my lovely daughter and husband soon will be back. Oh, my husband was knitting with us. One more thing. Yeah, he wanted to knit with us. So I gave him needles. I gave him a project bag and some yarn. And he was knitting a hot pad for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of people commented on that. He can knit. He learned at school and his grandma was teaching him to knit. He knits in a very different style than I do. Because... Yeah, in Finland, I think it's like 50-50 how people hold the needles. I have my finger up. I'm knitting continental and I have my finger up. But I think around half of Finland knits with all fingers on the needles. Like you don't lift the finger. And my husband knits that way. And it's so interesting to watch that we're different even in that. Even in our knitting style, we're different. There's nothing wrong with that as long as you're happy and it works. So... You can knit however you want. There are throwers, there are continental knitters, and different kinds of continental knitters. There are Portuguese knitters, which blows my mind. I don't know. I don't that <laughs> that you have yarn coming from there, and then you tension it around your neck or in your knitting pin. And I would like to try, but I don't. I don't know. Can I grasp the concept of concept of it? It's something. <laughs> I haven't tried that. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm very inspired. I saw so many beautiful knits. So many beautiful knits out there. Because, I don't know, sometimes it feels like, okay, sure, I have seen everything. Oh, no. I There are so much more out there in the world. Because people from all over Finland came to one place. And not just Finland. We had people from other countries as well. There were people from Sweden, from Estonia, who came to my booth, that I know for sure, from Czech Republic, and probably from many other places as well. But those I, I know for sure. And it, it's amazing, because, yeah, the knits vary also from country to country, and knitting styles, and color preferences. And I just, I just find it fascinating and very exciting to see something else, something different. Yeah, and there was a fashion show. I missed it. I only saw pictures of it, which is like... <laughs> I didn't even know this it was happening. I knew it would happen. I just didn't know what time and I was so busy, <laughs> which is a good thing, which is a good thing because now I can... <sighs> I can catch my breath for a week. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah, just feeling very happy and grateful and just... Always, it always feels like our knitting community is one of the best generally out there because every hobby has some kind of community. And I think, I think knitters are just, or yarny people, crocheters, spinners, all of that. They are one of the, I think, tightest and greatest. Some people still have broken my heart that that's just life, but that that's all right. <laughs> you lose some, you gain some, but... Yeah, not gonna talk about that. I just wanted to thank everyone. And if you weren't in a festival and you were you were in spirit with me, I know I received so many messages of like have fun, enjoy yourself, and thank you guys. It was it was amazing. Uh, I rarely go to big happenings because of my own personal reasons, family, or yeah, can't leave our little one for longer periods of time and but this one is important for, for me, the summer fest. That's more of an exception that I, I go to that. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm just blabbering here. I can blubber till night. But I, sh I should go and start dinner. We're planning to grill. I need to chop some salad and get corn ready. We're grilling some corn and something else. I don't know. I'm with grilled vegetables. And I think I'm gonna grab my knitting or spinning and go on a porch. It's nice wind there, so not gonna be too hot. Yeah, not crazy hot summer here. Very nice warm, not complaining. My kind of summer, like a bit over 20 is yay, Celsius. That's a great summer. 30 too much. 25? 25 still. Spot on. Uh, because you can knit <laughs> and not have sweaty, sweaty hands. <laughs> sweaty. Uh, yes. Okay, now I, I should stop talking <laughs> and I should say goodbye. 
because I think this is turning into a very long episode. I will insert a little bit of footage from the festival at the end, but not too much because I, I made a special vlog for my knit fest vlog for my patrons on Patreon and it turned into 15 minutes. That's a bit too much for this, but I will insert little snippets from here and there. Uh, so thank you so much for being here. Thank you for spending your time with me. Uh, if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe and I, I will see you next week. I'll be on a holiday, so definitely next week. <laughs> if nothing weird happens, hopefully not. So, oh, <laughs> my, my lambs are very, <laughs> uh, very naughty. <laughs> Hey, no more, no more. <laughs> yeah, zip, lock, throw away. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I'm going away. Okay, bye. Hey, bum. See you next time.